Hello and welcome everyone. Glad you're here. I am Habage. Super excited to stream a little hardcore vanilla Minecraft with you today, but I do say a little in all honesty today because it is going to have to be a bit of a short one today. Uh, I'm thinking around an hour. We'll probably uh, go up till the noon hour. Uh, and I'll, I will probably be a little bit distracted with phone uh, text or, or I don't even know. I might have to drop quickly for a call. But um, as previously mentioned, uh, I've got a, a very busy stretch going on here where uh, last night we certainly had a fun abs game. We'll talk all about that a little bit. Um, not that we're gonna gonna dwell on the details or break down the game a little bit. We'll just party here and uh, be happy with it. But we are also let me get this game loading by the way because we'll want some time so it's not all laggy. So while that comes up, we should still be hanging out in the basement right where we left yesterday. Uh, we are also, or I am also, uh, going to a concert outdoors tonight. It's supposed to be pretty nice. A little, little chance of showers in the evening, so it'll probably be one of those bring a raincoat along and hope not to get soaked, or better yet, a pocket poncho. Best things in the world, man. If you're like a, a Target or a Walmart, you ever see the bin where it's like, I, I don't know, these days it's probably like a buck for the cheapest ones, right? And they, they come folded up, they're like a little, you know, they're like a, the size of maybe a wallet, right? And, uh, you know, they're they're usually on some kind of a sale where you can get multiples of them for, it used to be like, you know, it, if you got really lucky, you get four for a buck and you just have them, you carry them along, you don't have to lug around a, a big old raincoat tied in your pocket or, or tied around your waist or anything like that, I have to worry about it falling off or losing it or anything. You just throw one of those in your pocket and, or purse, you know, whatever you're you're carrying around. If it gets, gets unexpectedly dumpy out, uh, for one thing, you can stay pretty well dry. I mean, it's it's just a glorified trash bag you're going to throw over the top of yourself. But the best thing is you can you can be the absolute hero to somebody. And let's say you're you're going to hang out and maybe, you know, maybe you're a little bit on the prowl, so to speak. You're you're out there looking for, for new friends. We'll just leave it at that, right? And uh, it's starting to rain and, and somebody's looking very concerned and maybe didn't bring uh, an umbrella or a raincoat or anything like that. You can, you can leave all your buddies who are also getting equally soaked uh, to look like drowned rats and uh, offer that to whoever uh, whoever you decide needs it most, and I would imagine they'll be most grateful to you. And uh, it's a pretty good, pl yeah, you know. Again, I I say that kind of in jest, right? <laughs> I don't think that's ever worked out for me, but uh, it's a good thing, and it's I talk about it all the time. The the best ways to feel good in life are to um, do something nice for other people, and you know whether whether it's anybody you you know or care about or anything else. Hey, man, if somebody's getting wet in the rain and you can help them out, that's a good place to find yourself in. So I strongly recommend it. All right, I am going to quickly get uh, the stream up here so that if any of you are shouting victory for the uh, abs and, and partying in the chat, I will actually know it because I don't... Yeah, we're on we're on pretty good uh, delay here. Good. It, it wasn't a full rotation behind the wolves. So I think we're pretty current. If you guys say hi, uh, do say hi, or, or happen to uh, drop by and not just want to lurk, awesome. But for today, since we are limited on time, why? There we go. <laughs> we are probably gonna. We may go back over to the other spot we haven't yet put our book on and we haven't yet even dropped this so let's put it in the middle of the floor you know what i should have i should have left this coal <laughs> over at the uh at the little spot because didn't we make a chest and dump all the tree wood and all that in there maybe we didn't even do that i don't know pretty sure we made a chest though we had to to clear out our inventory now. Well, hey, regrets. We didn't see a wolf on our way back. 
So, no pet yet. Maybe we could do that today if we happen to see a little buddy out there. Right, so, we're going to kind of... Oh, wait. Except for this, we are going to use this as just a general uh, dump box. That's pretty good. Put this here. Let's continue to carry this so that if we get, or as we get more XP, I should say, and this is the silk. As we get more XP, we can clean that up. We got some loose diamonds, and I do want to... This is basically, you know, we're going to hang out. We're going to sort all the stuff from before. Uh, I want to put this book on this axe. Uh, we may want to do a bit more enchanting of stuff and uh, see what what kind of time we have left and what more we want to get into then. But let's try to sort out some of the... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Some of these goodies. We'll still need the fortune pick, but we can do this right now. And get the spot back. So this is now ideal, right? We have an efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, and mending pick already. We were carrying that around. But the problem we were running into a lot here was we were getting like deep slate and cobbled deep slate. Stone and cobbled stone. Because we had two different types of picks. Uh, now I don't have to worry about that. Now everything will just be silk touch. So far more important than getting the axe to, to easily harvest the melons or anything like that. I want both of these. And with honestly, with probably with one, we could have just run around using primarily the silk um, touch pick on our adventuring, and it would have been fine. But with two, you, you can pretty well go on a trip and not have to worry about wearing down an axe or anything like that. Do just as much tunneling or escaping or whatever as you need without having to worry that you're going to lose that axe. So was very happy to get that Silk Touch book. Now we have two two picks, which is fantastic. We also have a whole lot more train pieces. We have a couple of gold blocks to throw in the mix here. We have some spider eyes for brewing. We're up to 14 of those. Remember, we had to go, go hunting. We may have to go hunting for mushrooms. Hmm. We've got some dark, uh, dark oak forests around us, though, so we can go uh, chop those down. They're kind of beyond the our, our villager buddies. Maybe, I don't know that I have a whole lot to trade with them, so I don't know that we're going to make a village run today at all. I really need some downtime on my own to farm enough to have more stuff to trade with them. But maybe, no promises, but maybe we can get to brewing today. All right, well, now that we've, we've regained the inventory and have all these ores, next step is let's get our fortune pick here and sleep... And we will start processing all this stuff out. So I think the first thing we want to do is have our sword ready because, as we can see up there, we've got some burning little friends. And they can be fun to play with, but I do want to watch out for creepers a little bit. And I guess... Grab these bones. This will just come back and do it here again, right? This is what we had done last time. I think first first priority is get some gold because that'll make our shortest stack. And then we can go get that cooking while we get the ores ready to go. We are going to need some some kind of a system and it it just needs to be a little temporary to manage ores while we're blast furnacing right 
Oh, I didn't see that there were more bones and arrows over there. I should get those, too. Alright, I don't know how many blocks we started off with, but I think we did pretty well there. Then there's this. Oh, we already filled that. Yeah, we did very well. <laughs> that that makes me feel better. I was like, I, I kind of think we were close to 22, right? Didn't we have like something, both of them close to the teens? All right. Before we run back over and start cooking the gold, I want to show these. So these are the blocks of raw iron, right? And we can make this into nine. And that's got to be the best way, right? If I broke this with fortune, it's not going to give me more than nine, is it? I don't even know if that would... Let's just for science sake. We got loads of iron, right? It doesn't even, doesn't even matter. It, it is raw iron until it's not. And if we do this, right? And then... Do this, we can make it make it right back in. It's still stackable, same block, all that. So if you want to make your own of these, can we do the same with gold? We can! Look at that! I like raw gold. <laughs> For those of you guys who know, I, I wasn't very satisfied, but it, since this was kind of first night construction, or uh, a little after that, I think it was first... No, I'd put in the cobble. I think this first floor I'd done before I ever streamed this world. But I didn't have any supplies, right? So wood was necessary. But as I look at this, the diorite is kind of cool, but wood looks a little bit. But what if what if we swapped that out with raw gold? We need a ton of gold to get that done, but that's always possible. Right? There's such things as gold farms. Anyway, uh, we're not going to worry about that yet. We still want lots of gold apples and all the rest. But now we know... Um, we've got, got the rest of us. So, we learned. Even if it's going to be a shorter stream today, we learned something. We learned about raw gold blocks that I, that maybe, maybe I knew and just forgot, but those are pretty cool. So, let's leave these in the block box. Oh man, I've still got all this stuff. Uh I guess we'll get all the ore ready first. Let's get Ooh, there's more XP. I am holding both picks. We'll do those two. I think we're going to need to make some iron blocks here. Alright, now first thing... Don't we... Did we have more gold? No. Alright, well then never mind. Those can just cook. And we... Let's now do... Should we save the best for last? Let's do all the ore. <laughs> Confront whatever storage nightmare we're gonna have right out of the gate. Uh, copper's fine. Copper we are gonna get a ton of because copper uh, they increased the amount that you got per per ore block, and then you throw fortune on top of that. It, it, you'll see this is gonna be ridiculous. Uh, we had less than a full stack that I think it was 54 maybe. Is that right? No, it can't be that much. Maybe 34. I don't know. But we should... I, I'm guessing we will be easily into three stacks, if not five. When we get done with this. And then... We do have storage down... Let's try... Ha 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 Luck. Storage problem solved. I like this. 
Um, I guess while we're here, let's do all the iron, and we'll put that into blocks, and then we can store it and break the blocks when we want to cook ore. All right? Not be so overwhelmed. Uh, we're definitely building something somehow with these blocks. They look... Hi, cows! Coming over to hang out with you. And then some. Okay, easy does it. Uh, the deep slate wouldn't be the ideal, but being in those uh, that raw iron vein, we just got a lot of these. Of course, none of this really helps our pick. Cooking it does. But by itself, even that doesn't doesn't make a big difference. So, you know, depending on what we do or what we find when we eventually return back over to that geode mineshaft that we were exploring yesterday, we could... At the crafting table we made at the top of those stairs, we could do this process and be able to get a lot more stuff back home for the long walk than uh, we originally or were able to uh, before make better use of our ender chest, right? You just go up to the surface or wherever you process out a bunch of these ores with the fortune pick, which you carry along in the ender chest. Now, you can turn them all into those blocks of raw, and uh, carry a ton more. That's really cool. And to my knowledge, I mean, maybe, you know, it's, once you get shulkers and all that, not, not too important anyway, but... To my knowledge, I haven't seen a lot of that being done in streams or uh, VODs or anything like that, at least of the stuff I watch. Uh, certainly, I wasn't wasn't even really aware that uh, there were blocks of raw gold and then, of course, copper, too. The copper was probably the best one because we had so much of it laying around. And I think, I think maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll start on that today if uh, while all this stuff is cooking, right? We can hey, that's it. Uh, we can maybe start working on switching out that wood. That'd be cool. All right, so more blocks. Uh, actually, let's just leave these because uh, we will want to be reloading the furnaces. Hi, sheepy. There's that. And we'll go with the partial here. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Now, we got all that in reserve. We have all of these. like night time. <sighs> little water. Mm -mm -mm, the water. I drank so much water last 
last night. So as I said, uh, and this, uh, after the fact, and I don't know that there's anybody in this state that actively watches or listens to any of these, so good luck tracking me down. But I'd, I'd kind of hinted at, and you, know, you could probably put together where I ended up going to specifically, but I, I'd said, oh, you know, maybe the first time in years, but we may go to Hooters uh, for that game. It was really fun. Shout out to the Hooters people. Um, fairly crowded. Uh, another another noisy, raucous atmosphere. Um, and good food. But man, we, <laughs> we got there, and we were there. Uh, four of us were there pretty early. And another... Uh, huh. You know what? Let's just dump this. Grab this. Oh, no, we have this. Come on. Block. Storage problems answered. And then we can go bust these open in addition to everything else. Uh, so we we get there early because we had to get a table. It's a good thing, too, because it, it really did fill up. Uh, but <laughs> one of my friends had... And I was I was kind of late. My Uber was a little bit of a disaster, but the guy, the guy ended up being a hero... I was waiting for the car, and you know, it, it was it, when I first turned it on. It was surge. Oh, we got lawnmower guys, which I was noticing the lawn was like ankle deep last night. Um, I ordered an Uber, and it, it was like surge pricing, right? It was going to be some ridiculous, like fifty bucks to go just across my town, right? Not not very far at all. Should have should have been like fifteen dollars. And so I I play the whole like shut down the app, relaunch, check it, check it, check it. Next thing I know, it's it's down to fifteen or sixteen dollars, and it was um like twenty some minutes for the the person to complete a trip nearby and uh, come over to get me. So that was why why are you not getting my shift? What? Okay, those just went into the stack. All right, here we go. Lots of copper. Now, uh, let's go put these away. Those will be cool. Suddenly the... Uh, was it Good Monin? Who uh, came in at the end of a stream and was like, Oh yeah, you could convert all those drowned to... Or all those zombies in your farm to drowned and then get copper ore from them. I still... We've been ignoring every bit of copper I, I possibly could. So I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to start converting those. I think that would just slow down the efficiency of the farm. But uh, still very good. Good thing there... Now, we do have this coal ore. Let's put these away, because as soon as I do this redstone, I think it's going to blow up all over the place. And let's just put that away. Probably no more than the copper, though. I'm probably making a bigger deal out of this than I need to, but we need to put these things away anyway. Smooth salt. Now, let's go check the furnaces. Throw in another batch. Oh, and this uh, this pick is now all good. Uh, that's still going, but this is done. So we can put in there. And... More blocks. This time, a processed iron. And we can put this here. All right? We're doing awesome. Now we can go do all the redstone and see if we have any space left over to get the lapis and the diamonds done while we're here. And 
then we'll have coal left to do. Doop. Doop. That B, he's going for an altitude record. This is the deep slate. Oh, oh, so this will take a little bit longer, but we should get get good XP, and we'll see. I don't think it'll go too terribly far, even with the lapis and the diamonds. So I don't think we're getting up to to fifty or anything like that, where we're gonna be doing fresh enchanting. But we should get get a healthy amount of diamonds, I would think. We got three, so we could make one more pick or an axe or whatever, and we got uh, three pieces of ore? Just getting XP on the bar. We're level 31. <laughs> ah, too much. Doesn't compare to uh, harvesting that zombie spawner after I've left it for a while, but no problem. Uh, our treasure box is also our enchanted book box, so let's. Oh, look at that. No leftovers. That's pretty good. Now we can do lapis. And here. And uh, I don't even. Well, I guess. I guess we should make blocks where we can. We've already got a few stacks of it upstairs. Last but not least, here we go. Three turns into hopefully a few. At least two on each. Eight! Spectacular. All right. And we did get to level 32. Amazing. I wasn't even looking at the XP bar. I was excited about how many... Uh, that I could see multiple diamonds each of those three blocks. All right. Now. Here. Do that. And that. That. And that. And we've got 11. And. Last furnace is still kicking. Uh, fortunately, it looks like we're going to be doing this cold just as we need replacements. And we should have plenty to switch that out. The blast furnace at least to blocks of coal instead of lumps once we get done with this haul. And we'll probably just do this one stack because I... It, we had, what, 17 pieces of iron to get through in that blast furnace? Now, what we still don't have is unbreaking on here. So, do you see it flashing almost every swing? With unbreaking, it will less often take wear. And so we'll use less of our XP to keep it healthy. Whereas here you can see that the XP bar is moving, but not... And coal doesn't move it nearly as fast as the other ores do either, but or the gems. But... It's okay. Here we go. So now we've got some stacks of coal. We're going to take these over. 
reset the iron because I assume both furnaces will be good to go again, especially with night coming on that we get to sleep. And there we are. Pull that out. Pull this in. We can top that off for now. Um, see how neat that works? That. These. Wrong corner. This. Sleep. All right, now. Done in here. Let's go get the rest of this coal done. I, I, I don't know. We could, we could knock out brewing. Getting that started, right? Or we could start on swapping stuff out on the house uh, tower. I think. I think we'll probably go a little bit of the tower build stuff. Uh, that way I can kind of get back into talking a little bit about how awesome the game was last night. Oh, I didn't think I finished. <laughs> that was, I took that sip of water, and I was like, oh, the water was so good. Well, anyway, after my crazy Uber where the... So I'm standing there waiting. I had like a 20-minute wait. Or I was at home, and I kind of, you know, gave it a little while. And in the meantime, you know, there's texts and calls and everything going with everybody figuring out, like, wait, wait, where are we decided we're going? What, what's going on? I'm just getting off work. What's happening? And, uh, every, you know, everything's normal. It's looking good. The guys had to drop off pretty close to me. So it, it wasn't even one of those where it was, like, going in an opposite direction and then going to start. So everything's looking good. I'm following the thing. It's down to, it was showing 12 minutes. And it showed the car. But suddenly... The car jumped, and you know, because it was close to me, I knew the, I knew that area kind of where it was going. I could kind of even guess where that that drop off was going to. But suddenly, like on the little map, if you guys are familiar with Uber, the car jumped like further past the thing into the middle of a deal, and it just stopped updating. And I'm like, what? Because it, it just it continued to say 12 minutes and it, you know, time keeps clicking by and I'm like, uh Oh, this isn't good. And at some point, uh, right about the time that it was, it was supposed to be there. I reached out to the guy and I'm like, it through the messaging thing within the Uber app. And I said, Hey, are you still my driver? I, I, the app isn't updating. I don't know what's going on. Um, let me know. And, at the same time, I could go, you know, I, I was like going in because I was trying to just like unlock it, you know, if it was locked up or something like that. I was trying to trigger it to refresh and update it. I'd, I tried turning off and on my Wi-Fi at my, on my phone itself. I went into like past trips and things within the app and I had full functionality. I could go in and look at that, but I didn't want to cancel the trip, right? Because here it is, it, you know, we're dodging around surge pricing and all that. Um, I wanted to... Uh, keep that trick. Plus, I didn't want to have to wait again because now it's now it's under an hour to game time. Fortunately, uh, some of my other friends were already there and get, had got got on the table. But I was like, I don't know how long it's going to take me, guys. I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. And I, you know, I'm sitting there. It's now now after five for a six o'clock game time, and I, you know, I, I don't know what to do. I, I'm like, you know, I, I at this point, I've even closed the app relaunched it and it still pulled up my trip and i'm like well that's okay but what if i can never get rid of this thing <laughs> like how bad is this hung up well i i was had just sent another message to the driver and i'm kind of getting fed up and frustrated at this point as i'm sure you can imagine uh, when suddenly suddenly the guy who's in a, a pre an all-electric prius i think pulls up <laughs> like 
behind me as I'm standing in the shade and not looking exactly at the road because I've been watching the other way. And he just comes in from an unexpected direction and is like, it rolls down the window and I was like, uh, hello, are, are you, are you my rod? And I'm like, wow, you're here. <laughs> I was so happy to see him. I was like, oh, I'm saved. This is so good. It turned out, and I don't know if this was the cause or not, but he said, I'm so sorry I'm late. And he, he was maybe like five minutes later than the, the initially estimated time that he would be there. But I didn't, you know, I couldn't see any of that updating in real time. All I knew was that it was, it, it was going past and, I, did, I had no idea where he was and if I was going to have to start over. Um, he's like, I, my previous ride or my fare gave me the wrong address when I was picking him up. You know, he was, I think it was an airport ride. I don't know what all that it was, but, and it may have all been an excuse. I don't know. But according to him, they found out that they were going to the wrong place when they were getting close to the drop-off. And if that had been the case where I saw the map freeze effectively, he may have had to go in and put in a new address or change it, and maybe that broke the update of the, the previous trip. So my Uber view of the car approaching me just gave up at that point. I don't know. But as we were driving, all of the little Uber message beeps came through to him of my messages from then 10, 15 minutes earlier going, hey, uh, you know, do I still ride? Anyway, all that goes on. They've already been there. They're hanging out. I, I show up like, hey, uh, yeah, I want a beer too. <laughs> and one of my friends is like, oh, they've got the good kind of fried pickles here. Let's get some of those. And uh, my other friend's like, oh, we've already ordered some. They're on the way. He's like, uh, we may need two batches of those. And I'm like, uh, all right, I like, I like pickles. I like fried stuff. Let's do it. Uh, needless to say, they were good. And between, at that point, five of us, we polished off two orders of fried pickles like that. <laughs> like, everybody was, was ready and loving them, but they were so salty, man. When I got home last night, I drank three tall glasses of water. And this is, you know, like after 10 o'clock at night. So predictably I was, uh, I was up and down like a, a yo or a pogo stick, uh, going to the bathroom, <laughs> but it, it was good. But yeah, sipping the water was, was excellent, but let's, uh, let's keep going here. I think we want to switch that to blocks now, because now we have loads of coal, All right? Uh, or do, well, those are coal. Let's keep three of the coal at full so we can always make torches because we need to do that right now too. Let's turn the rest of these into blocks. Oh, I had felt the need to capitalize that. But okay. And then this, let's do maybe that. Let's see how that ends up. Twenty one, twenty six. Seven. Now, actually, now that I've done this, I think I think really the preference is not to use blocks here because you go in and cook like a single thing, then you're wasting it. Uh yeah. I'll remember all the tricks. Let's bring out two. Let's turn these into sticks. Let's then make a full batch of torches. There we go. Let's put this in here so we've got it fully loaded but we'll just use a piece at a time there so that if we do just want to cook a you know a couple of pieces of gold ore or something like that and don't have full stacks we're not we're not having massive loss and waste right okay now spare torches go away i think we're i think we're pretty well done with shields uh our last adventure kind of showed that so let's just go ahead and combine these. We'll have a full ready one. 
but I'm going to put it over in the wardrobe chest now. And likely we will <laughs> we will never carry it again. Just saying. Trying to be honest. No, no full disclosure. Right? Everybody knows what's going on. And I guess why not? We did restock on wood a little bit, and we may be regaining a whole bunch of planks here. Let's do these. Get some more arrows going because we still don't have infinity. Which is all right. Uh, I'll do that. And what we should really do is load this guy up a bit now. Because that would have been a huge help last time around, right? At least an extra emergency pack of torches. I don't want to take up too much of the ender chest space on gear like we would with our, our primary shulker box, but because we want to be able to carry stuff back in it, right? Put some put some loot in it and carry it back. But it is good. Right? We were running around in the dark for most of the time in the mines because we just ran out of torches. Mm. I think I think that stuff can stay as is for now. But again, oh, and we can put fortune pick back, right? And we can take spare. Silk Touch pick, and now we don't have to have two pick spots taken over. And look at that. We are styling. And now let's do this. Use all the gold. Almost two full stacks of golden apples. That would be very nice. Beautiful. All right, inventory stuff is good. How are we doing on this blast load? Very close. Another one of those. How are we doing down here? Oh. Uh, no, I want to use the partial stack down there. We start to get a problem. Um, let's take a look at how this could. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's not take a look at that yet. Let's sleep. I think this is going to be pretty darn great, but you never know until you try. So I think oh, is that really <laughs> the full one is at floor level? That's unfortunate. Can I get... Now, I don't know what blocks... Will blocks of raw copper oxidize? That would be kind of crazy. This may be a little slow, but it's... Since we... Uh, do we have scaffolding? Did I make a bunch of scaffolding? 
It seems like I did for something or other, and then I never used it. I think I think this is gonna add a nice touch. Oh, dang it! That wasn't necessary. I was gonna just take down that whole seam. But thankfully, we have our feather falling boots, and I guess that's a good excuse to come pick up a lot of that stuff. All right, without falling off. Hang torches again. Get all that. All right, up one. Oh, no, we hadn't. But I think we did here because this is where our torches go to light up our deal. All right, now we got to continue around on the. Top ring here. I know we don't have enough copper to do everything, which is kind of why I wanted to start at the top. Uh, like, if we started at the ground level where most of everything is wood, we'd really run out fast. Oh, dude. What are you do? Oh, come on. Uh, more wood we can pick up, though. And now we'll have to go back down for that wood. Great. But we can ride this a little vertical column to get that done. These diagonal ones are going to be tougher. Right? We can do a lot of that from inside, except where the floors are. And we may not even need to go scaffolding for that. Let's go down gracefully because I want to get those lit again before I forget. And we'll collect everything. These lit again. More pieces. All right. So far, so good. Halfway down, all right. Trying not to look up while we're down there so we get a get a full reveal at the end. But I mean, come on, it's wood and stone. That's not a very this is probably the wrong way to do this. Let's come back to ourselves. There. 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 And again, sorry for the yard yard work noise. I don't control the schedule, but they seem to know mine. Probably like checking Twitter. Oh, Habbage guys going live. Let's go. Let's go mow the lawn. It's going to be awesome. This All right, almost done with this bit. The other thing we should I Keep thinking about it, like, oh, we should get our, uh, since we have amethyst, right, we should get, ooh, that was wood all the way down to the bottom. This is the short, short side. So now I'll have to go all the way down the tower to pick up that, because I don't want to lose that 
block of raw copper. And here we are at the start from the top. Hey, buddy. Okay, all the way down. We should put up torches. And torches. Torches. There we are again. He's like, what is going on? Uh, did anything fall on this balcony? Just a piece. That's been bugging me for a while now. Block of copper. All right, now... this level Ooh, I hope we can get those this little tower not impossible though Patience. Patience is not my virtue today. Although it is while I'm trying not to look <laughs> too much at where we've been yet. I don't want to take it all in until we're until we're good and ready. There, 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 there. Is this easier to do from here? Seemed pretty easy, right? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get these done. Why does... Oh, because the sides don't have the big bay windows. That's right. So this one should be the same as the other, where we got an opening there. There. Okay. We continue after gathering up all this stuff. you with the axe. Don't want to hurt the birdie. All I have to hope is that we... I still have a partial stack at least uh, in my inventory because if we run out with holes in the house that would be unsatisfying. Come on. Alright. I wouldn't have gone if I didn't think that was the case, but it wouldn't be the first time either that I lost track of <laughs> having already used the stack that I thought I still had. Alright, let's I don't think we're gonna lose stuff. Well, we can we can go around the outside here. Without really ruining our reveal. We'll do that tomorrow morning.
I don't know why I'm so getting stuck. Should we, look, should we look from the... Oh, maybe we can do this little gatehouse, too. Because I don't think we're going to have 28. All right, are we all ready? That's my drum roll. I definitely think that's going to be nice. Uh, one thing, though, will that change up what we want to do for the railings? I don't know. I like the sparkliness. And I'm thinking maybe we should go ahead and extend up the the four po the other three posts just so that they match up the one that's in the middle of the enchanting stuff. With 28, the things that I thought of, so we could do six, eight. Let's do that. We'll have 20 pieces left. Because your, your little stairway cover in the middle of the lawn has to look pristine, right? I tend to look at it more. There we go. Alright, so now we have 20 pieces left. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight, ten. Could do those. Seven. I don't think we can get all the way around replacing the cobble. And I'd rather have. That would be too many, so we can't do those two sides. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, I think that these are perfect. Obviously for our count, and to kind of give a sense of completion so it doesn't just look completely unfinished, right? This is just our entryway decorations. And then I guess we won't be able to do those top pieces. It's all right. So we will, we will very much now uh, be gathering copper while we're out and about too, so we can finish this up. And what do we have indoors? How much light did we put on that wall, if any? Nothing. Okay, that's good. Just want to go close this so we don't have any overnight unwelcome guests. Well, do the same over here. Torches go on the outside of the doors. Oh, and we need to not forget to finish cooking downstairs because I know we're getting getting a little closer on time here. Fortunately, I haven't. I haven't yet had any interruptions. I had said somebody was like, "Hey, do we want to, you know, do we want to get like lunch at, <laughs> at like noon?" And I'm like, "Nah, nah. If we're meeting up in the mid afternoon, I'm not going to interrupt my day to or just to see the same people uh, for lunch and then like, all right, oh well, we'll catch you in like two hours. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not down with all that." I know a lot of times I talk about like you gotta appreciate your friends. You know, sometimes you gotta do stuff you're you're not super fired up to do just because it's important to them or they they want to do it. So, but that that's one of those where it's like this is just not a good use of anybody's time. I can't have can't have a break in the middle of the day. For one thing, I wouldn't have been been able to see you guys at all today. And for another, it is largely similar people all the way through. Uh, the course. I didn't switch the the oars, did I? Did I? 
Maybe we're already done. Oh, I didn't realize we were that far ahead. Awesome. All right, now. We are good. We do now probably need a couple axes. Shovel, I'm not as concerned about, because even if we're out exploring, we've, what we'll do is switch this and carry that, that, and leave this at home. And at some point down the road, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, now, now we got to figure this out. Why do I have tools scattered around? I'm very happy with that. We don't need sticks. And uh, give me a second here. I'm still with you, not going anywhere. We have... Last item here. Uh, home. <laughs> I think it's here. 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 Zombie killer, hydro, hydro, hydrogly. And, and here we are. I just wanted to get the spelling and capitalization right. I didn't grab it. Important, important activity. Oh, I did say I was going to save him, right? All right. Well, here, it's so that you know if you see this. I know you're not here, or at least you're not talking today. Uh, but double check it here one more time because I'm awful at that. Nine, six, eight. All right. Bobby God, you are a true friend of this channel. You come around a lot, or at least you did until the summer holidays rolled around, and <laughs> that's understandable. But uh, well, we're going to get you a cat, buddy, because I know you are a cat guy. Cat guy, cat girl. I, everybody's guys around here. Don't, don't take offense. Um, I think most of us know. And I guess I should double check this as well. Uh, yeah, his is easy. Oh, my window minimized. Back to you. What? What? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> you gotta put the name tag in the name tag thing to get named. Ant, uh, equally a good friend of the channel, has probably introduced, uh, he's been cool to welcome me into his chat a lot of times, and he has a community that is just awesome, uh, Hydro among, and Doxy among others who have come and hang out, hung out here uh, amid raids, Hydro uh, gave us her own raid, so I just said everybody's a guy, and then I some of the folks I hear on discords, like, you know, when, when they get together and stream in their world, I hear their voices. So I, I can make uh, better assumptions, but even that probably is, is a bit of a mistake. But anyway, 
uh, Ant for for being a regular visitor and a heck of a guy. You get to be uh, have the name of our first pet. This fine looking blue cockatiel, maybe. I guess cockatiels are always white. I don't know what blue tropical bird there is. Mayana? Mina bird? Is it a my? I think it's a Mina bird. They're kind of black with some blue, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're a bird. Ant. Uh-oh. Kind of cut off there, but... Go go check out Ant. He is uh, he's awesome. And now he's got a name in our channel, so you guys will see him and know what... Uh, an awesome person he is and bobby god uh dude you're you know uh you know I, I always welcome you it's fun to see you here um we will kind of up against it i'm gonna put you in here spot a uh, spot of importance up here i will try to make it a priority to go get a cat it, it, i think there's some running around in the village over there uh we've got some fish. Maybe we don't. Do we have no raw fish? And we do have fire aspect on the sword. Uh, we'll work on that. Uh, I'll have to make a new sword and we'll go. Oh, you know what we could do right now? We still got two minutes. And I still haven't really, really talked up the hockey. And I have been mainly out of my own excitement and fun. Um, and because, as I said, some of the like local radio post game stuff has Twitch as well, so I've been I've been hanging out and chatting uh, after the games with folks in there. Um, I have, you know, I like I'm Habbage there too, right? And so those folks know me. I just want to you know shout out, see if any of of those folks come over here and enjoy enjoy. Uh, Minecraft or Minecraft content. Uh, Callie I, again. I, I don't know. Callie said that they were a native French speaker and weren't too sure. Uh, but we had a good time yesterday, even despite the uh, long lag or my my content being very not in tune with what Twitch was throwing out there. Um, Callie and I were talking hockey. I, I I can't be sure where where Callie discovered or uh, if it was through the tweet or uh, having seen in some other stream or what, but uh, came in and first comments were agreeing on, on some of my hockey takes on the uh, Rangers and Tampa Bay game from the night before. Of course, there's going to be another one of those tonight. I'm going to be following the scores on my phone, but uh, not that'll be one of the first ones I've missed since the ah, last rounds of Game 7. I hit my mouse wheel, not the, not the fishing rod. But let's, let's take a lot, these last couple minutes here. Uh, just to recap, if you guys didn't see it, um, another uh, surprisingly impressive, uh, it's kind of a bad spot. I can't tell what's just bouncing bubbles and what's uh, bubbles coming in because it's so close to the shoreline, right? Now that they've added these these outer edge bouncing bubbles to, I guess, add a little more challenge <laughs> there must be some hide and seek going outside because i hear loud counting uh zombie flesh just what we needed right uh yeah I, again uh very surprised when after the first period it was zero zero but man were they both teams flying and the transition games out of both creating odd man rushes and and breaks and stuff was really cool and really a battle. And then uh, very quickly in the third, in the second period, um, Avs got two goals within 20 seconds. I think they were 16 seconds apart. And uh, that that just felt like, you know, that might have just angered Edmonton at that point. But even as they progressed out of that, the Avs really seemed to just be able to continue to spend a lot of time possessing the puck even at, you know and and don't get me wrong Edmonton was still getting lots of odd rushes they're they're very capable of of getting in there and interrupting that but it, it seemed as though uh Colorado was beginning to win out a little bit of the possession and go and of course the Avs had 
had a number of power plays. They ended up, I think, getting one power play goal, um, but had quite a few opportunities. And it, it evened out a little bit, but both teams ended up with a, a number of chances. There was some four and four, and in the third period, it got a little, a little chippier, and not, not in the sense of like a regular season game or a real gritty game. Um, but there were a few little scraps and stuff that that ended up um, putting putting the the teams at four on four for a while, and uh, and a couple odd man rushes, but. Um, <laughs> you know, if you had to nitpick, I'd say that, that that is one, especially now when the series transitions up to Edmonton. Colorado's power play was not very productive. They did get a goal, but they didn't didn't just pile things up at all. And uh, really, really moved the puck fairly well in the other zone. But I don't know if they were they were just trying to get... A lot of times, good, talented teams struggle in the power play because they're they're trying to make it the the perfect chance, right? They they're so good at moving between one another that they they want to keep trying until somebody dropping in from the point has the goalie caught completely out of position where there's just no chance. Instead of each time a shooter has a clear lane firing the puck at the net and going, all right, <laughs> let's see if it, it gets a lucky bounce or a tip or something like that. So I don't know that that would maybe be an area that if, if I was a coach, which I, I don't know that I had to, would have built up a team this strong looking, but that would be maybe something I'd go, you know, look, it's, it's not over yet. And, and we can always improve. We need to be giving ourselves a better chance to, uh, to, to, get points out of those power plays instead of just possessing the puck and, and, and you know, affect it, depending on what the score of the game is, wasting or eating two minutes of, of time during that, that opportunity, right? If you're ahead, it, the, the least you can say is, well, we've we've held the, the puck pretty consistently in their end if the other team, although Edmonton had some odd man breaks or shorthanded chances out of some of those power plays that were a little unsettling but uh frankie looked good uh that was the the big news right anytime you get a shutout in the playoffs it's big news some of the analysis i watched was like you know a, a lot of that has to be given to the defense they really they really helped him out i agree but i i thought frankie looked good and as as confident as i am in kemper um i i thought his movement his his anticipating and being at the opposite side of the net um, as somebody was, you know, circling or anything like that looked looked a little little more on. I don't know, you know, if both completely healthy and head to head. I think, uh, and, and unless it's just a further development of of Frankie's game over the the past couple of years, you know, he's he's consistently shown that that Grubauer and then the team going out to get. Kemper, uh, that he he's not not going to be that every single game. Uh, he he's got some some possibilities to be uh, to be beaten. But again, they 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 protected him very well in hockey. You don't you still don't know for you know for all we know, Kemper could have something really serious going on and and he's done. But they're not going to say that uh, Kemper just wasn't available for tonight and his his. Availability is uncertain, and that's all you get in hockey. So who knows? But you, you hope that's a good sign going forward, um, and, and that it, whether it's it's the team going, hey, we need to we need to be more mindful that we have Francois in net and um, and be ever ever aware that we need to be back checking and, and protective, or that Frankie just just could come in and and allow them to to click and be more confident to make the the poke check. Kale McCarr had such a good one um, early in the game. Somebody's coming down the near the near boards and angling in towards the net. I think it was McDavid and uh, McCarr just masterfully uh, reached out and, and caught him as he was as he was pulling the puck in. Just got in there and harmlessly kicked it out into the corner. 
And that's what that's when you know when you, when you're clapping and cheering, and a couple other people in the bar scattered are, and you know, and it it's early. People aren't aren't really into it, but when a defensive play like that, rather than just a goalie save, it, and it it prevents that from even developing, is made like that. Uh, that's when you're like, all right, okay, those <laughs> those are the voices I'm listening for in case you know I get distracted or something. You know, somebody comes up and asks you a question right when the when a play's going on. You know. Those are the ones you need to to listen to to go. Okay, I gotta pay attention. Not that not that I really ever took my eyes off the screen, but great night. Uh, congrats to the Avalanche. They they looked far more impressive to my eyes in that win uh, than in Game One. It, it looked like whether it's whether it's that continued toll of Edmonton having to play more games whether it was a little bit the altitude and the fact that the the Avs are, you know, any of their opposition, for the most part, are coming into this mix. Edmonton isn't isn't at sea level, right? They're at about 2,500 feet, so I, I did look. So about half half the altitude that, that Colorado or Denver has. And that helps, certainly. Uh, living here on the Front Range, you, you know, kind of in, in college sports especially, Places like Utah and Wyoming, you don't get that advantage because those places are just as, you know, nearly, they may be 8,000 feet or, or it can vary all over the place, I guess. Um, New Mexico as well. Uh, it's, I think it's it's UNM. I, I don't know, is that Albuquerque or Santa Fe or where, but um, those guys are at elevation. So is... Uh, ASU, right? It's it's up in the mountains of Arizona. So there are western places that, that you don't really have an altitude advantage or as much of one because they're conditioned as well. It's really when teams have to come up from sea level and then hang out for that second game of a series, their body hasn't had a full, a full enough time to fully acclimate but in a first game, you know, you arrive, you go play the game and you kind of turn around. Your body hasn't um, hasn't even really realized. And, and when you're dealing with professional athletes, they can kind of just come through and be like, all right, well, I'm going to feel a little bit more tired after this game, but they, they push through it easily. It, it The toll begins to build up. That goes away when you go to Edmonton. The crowd advantage, uh, to whatever extent that's needed, goes away. You lose the ability to match the lines to get the last changes going in. So there there's going to be a lot of a lot of things that may make this right back into um, competition time. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. Again, storage, all that. At least we have some lily pad spots. All right. So in the next episode, uh, should we also... Let's not carry around a fishing rod. Maybe let's carry around an iron sword. Well, let's just keep that in our inventory. I think we're going to end by heading to... Oh, we got to sleep. Heading over to the zombie farm, right? Because in in the coming times, I'll probably just leave this... Leave the game running uh, when I head out, but I can probably get a couple, one or two batches of zombies in this afternoon as I'm getting ready and heading off. Coordinating, you know, rides, I, I think, <laughs> sadly, the the person who is, is um, has offered to and has a vehicle that can uh, take us all and drive since it's, it's a tough, tough Uber back after a show at Red Rocks. Everybody kind of knows that. There is a, a an Uber lot and all that. You can get cabs and all that, but pretty often you're one it's guaranteed to be a surge and two you're going to be waiting waiting quite a while to get rides so uh, having somebody that's willing to be like yep i'll be the i'll be the person that gets you uh there and home safely that that earns a lot of a lot of goodwill and favors so uh awesome awesome to have that already taken care of and known going in but <laughs> that friend lives in the opposite direction of, of where we're trying to get to so uh, one buddy is going to gather up a 
couple of us and take us to his house, which is still in the opposite direction, but closer to the drivers than uh, than mine is. But one of our buddies has jury duty and is going to be available latest. So it's kind of like, a oh, yeah, I'll just go get all these guys and get ready to go. But then we have to come right back almost to my house to pick up <laughs> pick up this other person later. I'm like, ah, all right, but hey, uh, that's that's kind of getting into supporting the event and, and being there for your friends. So that's fine, but I wasn't going to do lunch early, and that will all be coordinated. I don't know the timing on any of it, so even with the torches, I still forget that, but we did fill in the hole. Ah, oh, look at that, no jumping. So, there we have it. We are ready to go. I don't have to use zombies for uh, XP, or, or repair. Everything is in good shape. The sword will will take one to swing at. That'll be back to good. Then I'll switch over to iron. We can maybe... <laughs> Maybe get the one ding off that pick that was just from getting these two ores. So, ah, you know, it it's just a waste of time. But we'll hopefully by the time we're we're next together, which I don't know, I don't know if that'll be Saturday because there's another Avs game. There's this concert which is gonna be late and you know kind of a party deal. So it probably won't be a real early morning. Already feeling well. It's supposed to be really nice. Are we sure we don't want to disc golf or something? Blah 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 blah. And then Sunday people want to ski. So I really hope to to at least do about this much tomorrow. Uh, and maybe that will be uh, going back and doing some enchanting with whatever I can can pile up for levels uh, in between now and that next stream. And then oh, my nose is running so bad. I don't want to sniff all in you guys. I can't wait until I finish. Um, so we, we'll run back, do all that, and then probably try to get a fish uh, so that we can, can get... <laughs> we have fish. We're going to try to get a cat so we can name a, name a pet for Bobby. Uh, and <coughs> wow. Uh, there we go. That's a, a strong finish. That's it, though. I'm going to wrap up and... Uh, say goodbye here. Have a wonderful weekend to my friends. Um, maybe rooting along for uh, the Rangers to get their second win or Tampa Bay to even up that series. All the best. I, I will miss watching that game or, or uh, seeing it be right on top of it, but I will be eagerly watching for score updates and uh, looking forward to recaps after the fact to see how that one turned out. And then ready for another one tomorrow night. Take care of yourselves. Stay awesome to one another. Amazing. I, I'm so lost on what days it are, they are. It's Friday today. It feels, it in equal terms, feels like it should be Thursday and feels like it should be Saturday. And I, I'm just all turned all over the place. But today is Friday. Uh, we're heading into another weekend. And in summertime, those get lost a little bit, especially on a holiday week. But if you're heading out, same message as last weekend. Be safe out there. Uh, don't be stupid if uh, if you are of an age where you might be having a beverage or two. Um, get a ride or uh, or have have somebody that you trust that won't just, oh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take the chance this time. I'll be the one that has a few drinks and gets everybody home. No, 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 no. Don't be those people. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Uh, try to get outside if it is nice and enjoy. Again, tomorrow, that's probably the biggest threat is if... Uh, if folks get together to go disc golfing before before the next Avs game, that may really trim down my time. And then there is some talk of possibly trying to go up skiing on Sunday for the last day of the season uh, at Arapahoe Basin. If I do that, almost guaranteed that there won't be a stream. Uh, but... All of those things, you know, every, everything always is uncertain. You gotta, you gotta live your life. Uh, you know, it's corny, but one day at a time. Nothing is, nothing taken for granted. You never know uh, how circumstances can change uh, from one day to the next. So, well, yeah, plan, plan to have fun and do things. Be flexible and understand uh, that you, nothing, nothing is guaranteed to us, and you gotta, you gotta enjoy uh, 
whatever circumstances you find yourself in. So find find something fun to do this weekend. Take care of yourselves. I will be back soon. And uh, if you just stumble across these videos in the VOD form, uh, go ahead and drop that uh, that like or say hi in the comments. If you're over on YouTube, if you're here at Twitch, uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that follow button, and then you'll know when I'm going live next so uh, we can chat in person. Again, sorry for the short, short run time today, but take care, everybody. Have a good one. We will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.